Five Pilot Side coming at you. Michael Pickering here talking our famous question. What's going on in the world today? And today it's our final episode of our summer top 10 mini series, Talking Trees. Oh yeah, I know you've been waiting for it. We've been we've been postponing this final episode because we love talking trees so so much we don't want it to end. And maybe you can send in some new tree talking lists for this coming season. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But today. We're doing countries with the least amount of forested areas as measured by a percent of their total land mass territory because you can't generally plant trees in the water. Although, maybe that would be cool. We do a... a never mind, never mind, you know, I'm going down a rabbit hole. Uh, email me. Let me know. Hear your voice. Mm-hmm. Okay, enough. Our data are provided by the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization for the calendar year 2020. Now let's go. And get our tree on, people. And coming in and tied for number 10, Lesotho and Jordan, with just 1.1% of their territory having forested areas. Damn, that ain't much at all. Number 9, Yemen, with 1% of their landmass having forested areas on it. Number 8, another tie with Niger and Bahrain having only 0.9% forested areas. Number 7, Algeria, with 0.8% of their territory. Number six, a tie between Iceland and Saudi Arabia, with 0.5% each. Iceland, the land of ice and lava, but no trees. Oh, we still love you, Iceland. Number five, Kuwait, with just 4%. Number four, another tie between Djibouti and Mauritania, at 0.3%. Number three, Libya, with 0.1%. 0.1%, people. Number two, another tie. What's up with all these ties? I'll get to that in a second. Tied for number two is Qatar, Oman, and Egypt, with 0% forested areas in their country. 0%? But wait, if 0% is number two, then what's number one? This cannot be, cannot be. Well, that's me saying that all these ties are a bit of a bullshit, if you know what I mean. I mean, not really, but let's think about it for a second. Are people really going count the number of trees or the exact measure of forested areas in every country? Like like Iceland and Saudi Arabia, both tied for 0.5% of their territory being forested area. Do you mean to tell me? that Iceland and Saudi Arabia just happen to have the exact same measure of forested areas as a percent of their total land mass? Come on, we know that's not true. It's a rounding numbers issue. That's it. Just like I think to break the tie at number two for Qatar, Oman, and Egypt, someone should go counting trees in whichever country has the most trees. That's our winner. But who goes counting trees? Yes, that's a silent five count for you. Well, I did go look, and I did find a answer. But I can't say if it's accurate or not, so I'm not really going to put any weight behind this source. But I will say it does look like Qatar has less trees. So we'll say, Qatar, you're our number one today for the least amount of forested areas as measured by a percent of your total country's land mass. The answer being zero. But let's circle back around, my friends, and... Recall. Start talking about trees. What is this all about? Why are we doing this? What is this tree talk mini series? We're partially, partially it's because it's summertime and I love trees and I wanted to have a little fun talking trees, but also trees, people. Trees. We use them for everything. And deforestation is a real issue in many places and many other places, like on today's list don't even have forest of their own. So everything they need that's wooden, that comes from trees, they have to import from other countries, which means other countries have to chop down more trees to sell to the countries on our list today. And sure, trees are one of the few renewable resources that we use on moss. Yeah, without a doubt, of course. But planting new trees to take the place of an original forest with rich biodiversity and wildlife? Nah, 
You already know where we're going with that one. So our summer mini-series on trees is twofold. Number one, a little fun. And number two, some real talk. Yeah, it is truly a bit of both. And you know what? Sometimes, talking about what's going on in the world today, we need just a spot of fun mixed in to get us through the day. Speak to me, people. It's not a cliche or a catchphrase. It's a lifestyle. Always remember that Lo-Fi Poly Sci is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you tomorrow, Lo-Fi listeners. Pickering, signing off. the scenes for all you listeners that stuck around. Thank you for your words. Your voices were truly heard.